Welcome back. Joining us now to answer your fact questions is Dr. David Miller, who's in for Dr. Kim Hammond this morning. And Millie, you said you wouldn't bark on TV. <laughs> We had a deal, remember? <laughs> That's not You're the okay. deal. You're you were okay. reneging on, reneging on oh, your word. Oh, she just sees the food. She, she, she wants some food, but we can't oh, quite uh, let her have some of it. Can you give a high five? Okay. No, hey. Come no, here. she's going no, after the food. Gone. All right, we tried. Uh, it's all right. It's, it's, it's all right. It's totally she failed fine. her debut. She's, she's operating within her nature. All right, well, we do have some pet questions Wonderful. for you. Uh, we'll start with the first one. My seven year old chocolate lab had a lump in his ear flap. Uh, last night I noticed the lump was gone, but now I can feel fluid in the tip of the ear flap. Should I be concerned, or will the fluid be absorbed by his body? So it, what it sounds like, this could be a condition that we call an ear hematoma, where basically blood or plasma can um, fill in between the ear flaps um, or the two parts of the skin. And um, potentially this could be back, absorbed back by the body, but the problem is when it absorbs naturally, you can get you know, a cauliflower ear, kind of like we think with, boxer, with actual human boxers, where the ear kind of starts folding up and gets crinkly. Okay. Um, this is something that you know, it all could also get worse, and the ear could swell worse. And so I do recommend that you, know, you get to your veterinarian and potentially get it repaired. Okay, excellent. Okay, our nine-year-old dog has been diagnosed with allergies. Is this common this time of year? Also, he has been prescribed mineral. Is there any more organic uh, remedy that would help? So allergies are extremely common in dogs and cats. Uh, Millie right here actually is a very bad sufferer of allergies, and, and it, it takes a lot to actually get them under control, but with proper therapy, you can get them under decent control season to season. Um, in regards to organic therapy, I mean, there's not a lot out there that I know that I can recommend other than I can recommend vitamin E and fish oil is a great supplement to help out with the skin and help out with the hair, and it, it can actually help reduce a lot of the itchiness. Okay, well, that's good to know. All right, and the final question, my two-year-old Boston Terrier constantly licks her legs and paws. Is this a sign of anything? Going back to our last question, this actually could be a sign of allergies. Whereas in humans, um, you know, you're, you think of sneezing, coughing, stuffy nose, and all that kind of stuff. In dogs, they can actually get it in their paws, and their skin, and their ears. And so it might be allergies and worth getting checked out by your veterinarian. Okay. Millie, I'm going to try one more time. High five. <gasps> there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. We got it in. The time now is 8.57, and it's about 72 degrees here on TV Hill. We have much more coming up. Stay with us. You're watching 11 News Saturday morning.